A fire and an abandoned house in North St. Louis took a strange turn. Firefighters were called to Theodore Avenue near Riverview around 1230 this morning. While they were working to put out a fire, a woman dropped off a man who'd been shot about two blocks away. He was rushed to the hospital in an ambulance on standby at the fire scene. No word on his condition. He was conscious and able to walk. Neighbors describe a chaotic scene. Well, I heard somebody said they heard gunshots down this way. Right. But uh, I heard fireworks this way, okay. and the guy that got shot came from that way. All at the same time. <laughs> All around the same time. The cause of the fire is under investigation. The fire also knocked out power to a couple of neighboring houses. Blackjack firefighters want you to take a very close look at these two pictures. They were taken after a fire at an apartment complex. The picture on your left is the hallway leading to the bedrooms in one apartment. The one on the right is a bedroom that had the door closed. The debris you see in the bedrooms is insulation and ceiling drywall from firefighters checking the attic space for fire. Everything in the room left untouched by the fire. Firefighters say this is why it's so important to keep your bedroom doors closed when you're sleeping. Two people were hurt in that fire at the Whispering Lakes apartments. It started around two this morning in an upper floor. Firefighters had to rescue several people. A St. Louis County police officer suffered smoke inhalation while getting people out of that burning building. That officer is going to be okay. One man is being treated for burns on his hands. Patrice Hall lives in the building where the fire started. She got out okay. Police got the banging on everyone's doors, um, trying to just get everybody out screaming like, get out, get out, get out. Um, as I was running out of my apartment, the apartment is like across the hall, um, like Cata Corner was like in flames and it was just, it was scary because it's like you wake up to seeing something like that, that's a scary feeling. Firefighters put the fire out before it spread to any other apartments, but all 10 apartments in that building have smoke or water damage. Investigators are still looking for the cause. The Red Cross is helping people forced out of their homes. A North